Yo, 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 what is up, you guys? It's k here, and in today's video, we're going to compare four synths against each other. And the point of this is not to say one synth sounds better than all the others or anything like that. We're not trying to be objective. Really, we're just trying to look at sound design as a um, from a different perspective. Instead of it being what settings we choose to use, it's also about what instrument we choose to use for that part. If we choose a synth, we should probably have a good reason for why we think that synth is the best for making the sound that we're thinking of. And by also doing this, we are kind of learning the sound of each of these synthesizers. So that way, when you also listen to other people's music and you want to remake a sound that you've heard, you know, just by knowing your synths really well and the differences between them, you can probably really develop an ear for saying, oh, that was made in Massive. Oh, that was made in Spire. And that's just a really good remake kind of ability to have. And it's kind of like just teaching your ears the sound of the synths. And so by doing this test, we're gonna kind of try to do a little bit of that. And just before we get started, I wanna say that I've been recording a series for you guys all week long, so that's why there hasn't been videos earlier in the week. So uh, I'm really excited. I'm done recording that series and I'm now just editing it. So it should be out in a week or two because it's a lot of editing to do, but uh, you guys have been wanting a series like this for a long time. I won't say what it is because I like to be a little bit ominous and mysterious sometimes. So um, look out for that. It's going to be on the channel in a week or so, and it's a really awesome series. You guys will like this. So let's get started now with this. So what I've decided to do is just take Spire, Massive, Anna, and Silent, and just compare them basically just with one saw oscillator and no filtering, no effects, no anything. Just kind of keeping the same settings in each of these uh, synths. So if we look at Spire, all I've done here is just have a saw oscillator, and uh, that's it. Just our basic saw. The envelope is the only other thing that I made the same on all these synths, so I just have sustain, no decay, and half wave release. And no effects, as you can see, no filtering, no nothing. On Spire, I have a little bit of uh, the multiband compressor here. Just I bumped it up a bit just to make it a little bit louder. So this, um, in some particular cases, I will use something in each of these synths to kind of um, make it a little louder or a little bit wider. I'm um, just to kind of so that they all sound as close to each other as possible without effects or anything like that. So if we go to massive, I will have done the same exact thing. Actually, uh, let's go back to Spire real quick because I forgot to mention that I also add, I added the width up all the way here and I did detune this quite a bit. So, and I turned off the Anna. So basically, I will try to do all the same things inside of Massive now. Here we are Massive, we're on the saw. So we're on saw one, or well, square saw one, so we're all the way to the right. So we're on a saw, and you can see no filtering, no effects, no nothing. So basically it's all the same up to here. And I added Dimension Expander just to make it sound wider. It's not the same kind of width that we added in Spire, but um, it should be, it, it gets close enough to what we did in Spire. So in this case, like I said, we're going to basically do all the same stuff. In certain cases, I'll just use a particular thing in the synth to kind of make that patch sound like the other ones. So we added a little bit of width here to, again, make it sound wide. And now we should go to our envelope 4, and you can see the, uh, we basically have the same settings that we have in, sp in the Spire envelope. So we have no attack, no decay, level, which is kind of like our sustain in this case, is all, all the way, and more than halfway of release here because the massive release is different from the uh, Spire release. And another important thing is voicing. So in Spire, we also had eight voices, and uh, we were in polyphonic, so that's what we have here as well. I turned on the pan position again just for width, so we have the same width that we have in the Spire patch. And so that's pan position here, and we have the pitch cut off here to detune our our oscillator. So we can't, we could detune this oscillator various ways, but because it's just one oscillator and we're not using other oscillators, it's harder to detune it. So we're just going to use this right here, which is actually what it's for. So we'll stay in centered, and I'm just going to drag this all the way to the right and drag this up to 0.14. So that's enough detuning there. So I didn't over detune any of these uh, saws. I just kind of like did a little bit of it just to get that slight detuned sound. So in Anna, we're going to do all the same things. 
So in Anna, we're just going to select a saw, and again, no other oscillators, no filtering, no nothing. So we have our saw. We did detune it a bit, so actually, let's go oscillator one. So we did detune this one as a little bit, and you can see I added a little bit of uh, detune shape to this, and uh, basically that's it. So no filter, blah, blah, blah. We go to our main uh, envelope here, and we can see we have full sustain, halfway release, and no decay and attack is up slightly, just like it is in all the other ones. And now we're going to go silent. So again, poly, we're going to go eight voices here. We're going to set eight voices down here as well. So just kind of just saying, getting our settings the same as we had it everywhere else. We'll detune this quite a bit, so you know, like around four. Um, saw, and then we can see our envelope here is sustain up all the way, releases like halfway, and uh, brought the volume up on this a little bit because it was actually a bit quiet, and we took it off the retrig. So there's no retrig on any of these since. So now uh, we basically have the same patch and all, or we've basically followed the same parameters in these different synths. So now let's just compare them. So that's everything I want to talk to you guys about, so thanks guys for watching, and of course, like...